team building is very important in business, so it's worth talking about. That's what we're going to get to today. Hi, I'm David Chomad. If it's the first time you're joining me, then please like, comment, and subscribe to this video down below so I can continue to bring you the best in business consulting advice, and hopefully we can grow your business together. One of the things that I really looked forward to the most about being an adult was being a season ticket holder for my local sports team. I know that sounds stupid. That may sound stupid to you. That may sound like, oh my gosh, you're absolutely right. That's exactly what I was thinking about too. I don't know where you fall on the spectrum with regard to that, but even if it's not sports, there's bound to be some place in your life where you want to belong. We all want to belong somewhere. Seth Grodin wrote about that in his book called Tribes, where we develop communities of people who who are like-minded or have similar interests or want to accomplish the same things. In today's world, it's a little bit more complicated because frankly, with information and communication being so universal, tribes are not as geographically based as they used to be. But if you really think of your own business as a mini tribe of its own, even if it just has a few members, you really want to cultivate that sense of belonging, of commonality, of goals, and of similar things. And that team building is super important. So here are a couple of ideas of things to do to have better employees and a better team. First of all, always ask for feedback. People want to be heard. People want to feel that their opinion is respected. And even if you don't think their ideas are good or helpful, you need to manage those ideas. You need to give people an opportunity to feel like they've been heard. If someone is heard and you have a legitimate discussion with them about whatever you're doing, they're that much more likely to buy into it, particularly if you can find the nuggets of something good in what they're saying. Two, don't be afraid to give responsibility to others. I've said this many times in many videos. Boy, I can link some of them whichever way it goes. I can never get it straight. I think it's over there. <laughs> I've said in many other videos, the idea of delegating is not abdicating, but the reason that you want to delegate is to empower your employees in what they're doing. Because an empowered employee base is, is a motivated one, is one that will work harder for you. And, you know, as I like to say, they'll eat glass for you if you give them a motivation in the right direction. Now, I've also discussed in some of those other videos about how their motivations are not the same as yours. Keep that in mind. But being heard is actually very important. I recently had the realization that in the end, people want to have purposeful lives. If you ask someone what they want to achieve, really some people will say, I want to have a I want to have a bountiful family, I want to have, you know, a nice house, I want to whatever. But if you make them dig down, many people, I would even say almost everyone, wants to have a purpose and a recognized purpose. They want someone to turn to them and say, you're very good at this thing and we need you and you're essential for that reason and I see you. This is actually an important lesson that I've had re-emphasized to me by my younger son, who as recently as this week told me that I was asking good questions because I actually listened to him when he spoke. Do you do that for your employees? What do you know about the people who work for you? What do you know about the people who you interact with? And don't get me wrong, you can cheat. Keep a dossier, like write down stuff about them so you can remember. It's it's the effort that counts. Most arguments in this country, I firmly believe, come from the following statement. You do not understand how important I am. And it doesn't matter whether they're arguing about the price of tomatoes or international nuclear policy. It comes down to that. Because people want to be heard. They want to be part of a tribe. And so if you're looking to have a successful business, work towards that. Whether it be, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter in the end of the, at the end of the day what the team building exercise is. Even if it's a bad one, you can build a tribe based upon the fact that everyone's complaining about the, 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 
team building exercise. There's a lot of fun ones to, to do. I hope this video has been helpful and I'll see you next time.